Hello, my name is Jack Dolls, Director of Training at Tulsa Welding School in Jacksonville, Florida. And today we're going to bring you a 2-inch Schedule 10 stainless steel. Okay, I've had a lot of students ask me about this. This is one that they were wanting to see on YouTube. So here it is. I've got it all set up and ready to go. So once again on your 2-inch uh, Schedule 10 stainless, it is critical that you get a good fit up. Okay, so you, whenever you cut these apart and whenever you cut your pipe or when you fit your pipe, you need to make sure that it's got a good fit up, okay? You don't want a bunch of gaps in it and stuff like that, not when you're doing this Schedule 10. So make sure that you got a good, good straight cut. If not, grind it, square it up, make sure that they're, you got a good match whenever you're putting them together. Uh, like I say, I've went ahead and already tacked it for us. I've got it purged. I've got a purge line running in here right now. As you can see, it's filling it all up with argon. So pretty much we're ready to go, okay? I've got everything set up. We're gonna run off a foot pedal. Okay, we got a foot pedal as a remote, and also I've got my machine set on about 70 amps. Okay, so we're going to run around 70 amps, but once again, it's all off the foot pedal. I have control off my foot pedal of how much amperage I want to put down. If I want 20, I can give it 20. If I want 70, I can mash it to the floor. So that's why we're going to run off the remote. And yes, today I'm going to roll it just where you can see it, so where everybody can see on the video and stuff. But yes, we can do it in positions and things like that too. But today I've just got to set up in my little tray. I'm just going to run from quarter to quarter, and I'm going to roll the pipes where you can clearly see what's going on. All right, so once we start welding, what, is, what are we looking for? How do we know we're breaking down the walls? Well, whenever we fire up, at first it's just going to be a glassy, liquidy puddle on the surface. But once it starts to get hot and it actually starts to melt down in, from the gas, from the argon blowing on the inside, will actually cause a little turbulence in my puddle. And it'll start to swirl around. And as I go one way, it'll go the opposite way and vice versa. And that's going to let me know that my walls are breaking down. Okay, so you want to watch that as you're going around. If you get it to where it stops, stops swirling around, that means that you're probably moving too fast or don't have enough heat and you haven't broke down the walls. So watch out for that. Also, you can burn it up. With stainless, you can definitely cook it. So, you know, if it comes out real brown, real, real gray and blackish with, with stuff all in it, that's not what you're wanting. So you got to watch your heat here. Like I say, it's very easy to get this messed up. Um, so... Let's go through it. Like I say, I've got everything set up here. I do have a filler wire in my hand. You're probably not going to use the filler wire unless we start to get a hole. I'll add a little wire in there, but I don't see us getting any holes, and so it should all run smooth. Gas is on. Make sure your gas is on. Make sure you got gas coming out. I don't have gas coming out of the right one. Hold on. Bear with me. There we go. That's the gas I'm looking for. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Everybody ready? Okay, just want to take your time with this. This is not a race on this one. Nice and smooth. Got a little good fusion in there, breaking down the walls. Getting a little, little low in there. Might have to add a little wire. We got it going good so far. And two, when you're coming out of, whenever you're getting out of your well, it's critical that you get your fish eyes, your pinholes out. And how do you do that with doing it so thin? It's by long arcing, taking your time and bringing the arc all the way up to the surface and try to long arc it and by backing off the foot pedal nice and slowly so where that pinhole gets smaller and smaller and smaller to where you can almost get it completely out. Uh, but if you don't do those things, you are going to leave a pinhole in this and you're going to fail. That's all there is to it. So take your time. Don't rush this. This is not a race. Let's keep going.
if you can see it. And I'll hold it up when we get done just so you can look at it. It's looking good so far. We haven't messed it up yet. Woohoo! All right, let's keep going. Last little quarter here. Let's get this done. Oh, hey. All right, here we go. purge off here shut that down pull that out nice little stainless steel two inch pipe like I say it takes a little time takes a little practice uh, it's very easy to mess this up so take your time practicing this okay um, but like I say, it's really just about watching the keyhole, watching your little pinholes. Don't leave any pinholes in there. And if you got a couple little spo low spots, you can always come back and add a little wire and kind of come back over and clean it up. But it's actually pretty good. It's all looking good. We can rip it open and take a picture of the inside here and see what it all looks like. Whew, it's hot. Oh yeah, we good. All broke down, walls looking good. Money in the bank. This is how you make a two inch Schedule 10 stainless steel, okay? Like I said, let's just walk back through it one last time. The metal's been clean, okay? We got a nice sharp tungsten. We're gonna run off a remote, running about 70 on the amps. Okay, we're keeping a nice tight arc length. And like I say, we're just gonna fuse it in there. We're watching the puddle. Once it breaks down the walls, it starts to get a little turbulence in there because the argon's blowing up against it. That lets you know you're breaking down the walls. Just keep it moving the whole time. Like I say, it's, you can rotate it, you can spin it around, it's entirely up to you, but uh, this is how you make a two inch Schedule 10 stainless. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, looking forward to uh, working with you someday. Thank you very much.